23 years ago, a murder terrified a small community in Contra Costa County, and it still haunts many till this day. She was brutally murdered when she was 21 years old, and the case, decades later, remains unsolved. Nightbeat's Andrea Nakano joins us from Crockett, where the family held a candlelight in her memory. For some of the family members, this is the first time they've been able to return to this location where Priscilla was murdered 23 years ago. They say that it's just been too painful to relive the memories of that day. But with the killer still on the loose, the family felt the need to come together to find some justice for Priscilla. This community was rocked by it. There was like a black cloud over this town. town. It, was, it was bad. On September 24, 1996, Priscilla Lewis was working at this Four Corners Pizza restaurant. When she didn't return from her break, the cook went searching for her and found her brutally murdered in a basement bathroom. She was beat, her neck was broken, she was strangled and her face was in the toilet. For 23 years, investigators with the Contra Costa County Sheriff's Department have chased one lead after another. But with no arrests made, Troy Kinslow, Priscilla's cousin, felt the need to bring more attention to her case. Tonight, they held a candlelight vigil, released balloons, and shared fond memories of Priscilla. Those who knew her say they are not surprised by the turnout tonight. It was standing room only at her funeral, and it goes to show how much she was loved by this community. She would be so happy. She'd be so grateful that everybody loved her so much. You know, I don't think she thought she touched as many people as she did, but she did. She touched us all. Family and friends have their suspicions on who may have taken Priscilla's life, just not the evidence. At least not yet. She was a great, kind person, but she was a fighter. There had to be DNA under her nails. She had to have fought back. Whether she knew the person or not, there's absolutely no way that she didn't fight for her life. We need to know what happened. You know what I mean? We need to know why you would do something like this to such a, per a beautiful person. She didn't deserve it. An investigator with the Contra Costa County Sheriff's Department has been out here all night talking to people. He urges anyone with information to come forward. In Crockett, Andrea Nakano on the Night Beat.